Hello and a very awesome morning traders. Uh, it's Stu Nalpon here, founder of Master Markets, Editress Conference and the Traders Open Day. So right now we have the cable over here on the one hour time frame trading on our morning glory strategy as we always do. So today we actually have a stops to cash setup. This is the setup that I talk about in our live trading week which we do usually about two months, every two months regularly. Now, as hosted by um, Simon Campbell of Round the Clock um, Trader. Now, as you can see over here, what is the stops to cash setup? Now, the first point that we look in a stops to cash setup is first is the buyers, okay? The buyers for the day, very, very important traders. If you're intraday trading and if you're looking to take trades in whichever direction, you must, must, must first have a bias. And the bias is usually taken from the higher time frame, the higher time frame. So I go on the daily, I look at my bias, whichever um, characteristics of the price that I'm looking at, or whatever criteria I'm looking at, okay? As of today, in terms of our Master of the Markets research team backed algos, we have a bias which is up today, okay? Now the second thing, the second thing that we do need to look for, but do remember before I go on to the second point, the bias that we are looking for on the upside is coming from a higher time frame. Higher time frame, okay? Higher time frame. Next. The um, the setup itself is what then we are looking for once we have the bias. I'm going to tell you one more point later on, which is when the bias from the higher time frame is going to be negated. Okay, so hold on for that. As I come to the third point, I'll explain when this higher time frame bias will be negated and overrun. Uh, before that, the second point we're looking at is the setup itself. It's the setup itself. Once we have the bias from the higher time frame, which is the upside, we're looking for the setup in terms of the one hour time frame, in terms of the intraday time frame. So the setup looks like, as the name just stops the cash, if the bias is up, we're looking for a downward move. We're looking for a downward move like this, okay, just for it to come down. Just like that over here right now, as you can see, there's the highest point here, and then it's come back down, okay, all the bars now trending down. Right, so that's your setup. Now, the one important thing about the setup, one important thing about the setup is, follow me on this. This is very, very powerful, actually, if you want to keep trading this kind of setups. See, imagine right now, by 8 a.m., we have a setup like that, right? And this is, let's say, your 7 a.m. one hour bar, which brings you to 8 a.m., okay? 7 a.m. one hour bar. Now this is a typical stops to cash setup, okay? A typical stops to cash setup because you got all the down bars all coming back down and you got all your stops being raked up in the market on the upside. Now what we now need if you want to increase the strength and the viability of this setup, look for, look for the intraday range low and high to be broken as well. In this case, because we're looking for a bias on the upside, for the setup to be to the downside initially, right, for the stops to be stacked up on the top, so we want one more red bar here in this setup to take out the intraday low and therefore do something like this. Now this is a very, very strong setup. And at that point, look to take positions on the high and the low of the bar. Of course, we can look, if you want to add on the probabilities, look for higher probability kind of price action over here, okay? That we actually have taught in live trading, we, you can look at the videos from there. The third thing which I said, which is important, which actually links back to your bias and how the bias can be negated, is basically on your technical levels, your price map, what we call, okay? Your technical levels from your price map okay your tech levels from your price map this is the third point this is the third point the tech levels from the price map now what do i mean by this the tech levels main thing main objective of these tech levels of some of these tech levels would be definitely to measure whether it will be up to down day 
to form the range or a down to up there. Again, I've explained this in detail in one of the live trading week webinars. Right, so the tech levels should tell you whether it's going to be up to down day or down to up day. Now, if it breaks any of these levels, which indicates whether it's going to be up to down day or down to up day, then at that point only, I can negate the bias from the higher time frame. In this case, if it's going to show me an up to down day, then my bias is negated from the higher time frame and I'll take a shot. If not, if it aligns as is at the moment still, up to down day, up down to up day, then it's aligned with the higher time frame. Okay, so these are the things that you need to look at. Right. So to give you all a heads up of what's going to happen this morning, I'm still looking at this still viable opportunity still from a down to up day. Stop to cash is still valid. I've got all the levels here, which tells me when it becomes invalid. So I will still be taking a long position on this. And uh, but however, to note. As I've said yesterday, uh, the price route probability is very important. And also one more thing as well, news is coming up at half past nine. So we've got to be careful for the whip source as well. Okay, Right, so that's all from me on this. I'm going to pause myself and I'm going to resume to update you on the progress of this trade. Okay, traders, as I had explained before, in terms of the setup, we do have a setup right now. So it has gone further down here, as you can see. Uh, stops to cash setup uh, it's gone for the down and the buyers on the upside on the higher time frame and we also have a reversal bar setup as well so we've got a lot of things going on here for us and there has been an order placed I have placed an order in terms of this trade and news is also going to come out in just about 25 minutes but of course it's not really very big um, high volume news so you won't really get much gaps uh, so it's still fine to take that as long as you know the technical levels that you're going to get in at as you can see all our levels are all put in over here on the high the low and then the target for here okay so high profitable points is where we're going for in terms of taking our profits okay right I guess that's um, me here. I'm just going to pause this video and I'm going to resume it and show you how the trade has progressed. Okay, traders, so we are in the trade right now. As you can see, that's live. It's just a little bit down at the moment at about uh, just a little bit, less than 100 pounds of a loss. News is about to come out. It's just forming a bit of a high test bar at the moment, so we're not sure how it's going to form but that doesn't matter the only thing that you need to know is your probabilities uh, your probabilities to your side and as of now you're following according to our plan and that's all we can do as traders okay uh, you must know your probabilities and must also know your probability of trade failure as well okay I will just resume this video once the news comes out okay you can see the news is just about to come out right now and we are waiting the news and probably out at the moment you can see a lot of price fluctuation over here and how it's moving and um, just wait patiently to see how that moves it's going to open up the forex factory and see where price uh, what the news was actually let's see it's still hovering around that area it still hasn't broken its last uh, intraday range or intraday highs at the moment Let's see what it came up to be so one of it was positive uh, yeah I think the other one was just neutral it's 2.4 percent so it hasn't really um, gone up so it's gone up from previous so that's actually a bit positive so we'll see how that plans out to be in terms of price action so as you can see over here uh, what you can see here is that for factory news you can see that that's 2.4 percent uh, this green of course is much much more positive but uh, as you can see from the forecast it was just the same and just a marginal improvement from the previous but that all doesn't still mean anything uh, because it's the technicals and you got to see if that news is really creating an impact or not and that's what we will see over here okay See, it's still retracing quite a bit. Um, we'll see how this trade progresses as we go along. I'll resume the video very shortly. 
couple of trailers, as you can see currently right now, what I've actually done is I have reduced my position size. So I bought back in the, in the beginning, as you can see, it was three lots. I have bought back now 1.5. Okay, I bought back 1.5. The reason is because the volume was really high out of that news and it's fluctuating around that level. And do always remember what I always talked about in price through probabilities. Um, so based on that, I have taken out 1.5 off the um, table. Also in terms of a money management perspective as well. And then you can see over here, I've taken a small hit of um, 51 pounds over here, okay? Right, so I'll leave the rest of the position on 1.5 and we'll see how that plans out to be. Okay traders, as you can see right now, the trade has um, gone further in our position in our favor. We're just uh, about six pips away from our target over here. And I do have to know that I have to follow through also my target uh, rules as well as it approaches the target, especially near five pips. Okay, I'm just going to manage that. I'll resume the video very shortly. Okay, traders, as you can see over here at the moment, you're still near to only break even. The news didn't really have much of an impact. Uh, it has closed higher. There's still a bit of a little bit of momentum there, and it's come back all the way down. Uh, in fact, closing in the middle of its um, range. So, um, what are we doing at the moment? We have trailed our stop loss to the low of this bar. Uh, the reason is because it has come 5 pips away from its target. And usually within that hour, there's a high percentage that it will take out its high. Or within the next 2 hours, it will also take out its high as well. Okay. So there is 63%, as I said yesterday, chance of taking out the high within one hour, within the next one hour, which is right now 10 to 11, or 76% at 12 to 11 to 12, basically, okay? So we'll wait and see how that performs because our target is very nearby to yesterday's high. We will see how all that performs in the coming time. Okay traders, now it has actually gone into the second hour right now and we still haven't taken out our high. You can see that at 10 a.m. one hour bar, 10 to uh, actually 9 a.m. one hour bar, 9 to 10, it came to 5 pips away from the high. Uh, and the next bar hasn't come again next to the high. Now here is our second hour from this bar here so that's first hour second hour here and that's what's getting nearer to the previous day high so we'll be observing this closely if it doesn't get there i'll be closing the trade at the close of the hour just um within that hour itself okay and if it does get the five pips away then we will start to put in our target trigger rules preliminary target uh, rules to start looking to close the trade okay so i'll be observing this i will update you all shortly okay traders you can see over here that we are approaching our target at the moment 129.57 just a little bit under 200 pounds at the moment as you can see i'll be closing this trade in just about two minutes and because within the five minute bar which gets near to the uh, previous day high we will close the trade 129.54, 129.56 is the previous day's high. So see how this performs. And according to that, then we'll close the trade accordingly. Okay, just uh, two, just less than two minutes now, just to get to the target. We will see how that proceeds along. Okay, as you can see right now, we, I have closed the trade as of now. And uh, you can see that in my account history over here, which has been closed for £203.79. Price we got out at at 129.54, just three pips, two pips shy of my target. Just followed the rules as per the plan. Because for intraday trading, you got to be really rigid, you got to be really strict 
where you get out because we have been trading so many times so many thousands of trades we've taken and we know how fast the thing can reverse as well okay that's all from me for now and as we always say stay disciplined follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master